Moving can be stressful for people, but can you imagine how anxious it can be for our pets? So today I'm going to talk about some of the things you should be doing to make that experience more calmer and more pleasant for your furry and feathered friends. So let's get started. Whether you have a dog that you love or a cat that's a handful or a flock of feathered friends, it takes a lot of time and patience to get them through this process with the least amount of stress. We have to remember, your pet doesn't understand what's going on. And the noise, the strangers, the unfamiliar smells, and just the general chaos can be a very terrifying situation for them. Firstly, as pet parents, let's talk about a few things you should be doing while planning your move. Have new collar identification tags made with their name and new address on them. And if your fur baby is microchipped, go online to change that information, your new address, or any other important information. I put the link below for you down in the description for the National Registry. Locate a new vet. Maybe ask your current vet if they can refer you to someone in your new location. Then ask your current vet to transfer your records to your new vet, especially if your pet is on any kind of ongoing meds like heartworm medication. Research where the closest emergency vet clinic is to your new home. Then put that information in your phone. This last tip of our pre-planning may take a little bit of time and patience, but start getting your fur baby used to being confined. If your furry friend is already acclimated to being in a crate, that is fantastic. You're already ahead of the game. If not, start off slow. Try giving them small meals in their crate with the door open and always remember to praise them and give them a little treat if they do good. And because they relate to smells, put a favorite blanket or a toy in there with them too. Then eventually work up to doing this with the door closed. You'll find that this is going to be very, very helpful when it comes time to transporting your pet, whether it's down the street or across the country. Let's talk about the move itself. If possible, move the house before you move the pets. Set up as much as you can, even one room, before you introduce the animal to the new home. At first, confine them to only one section of the house while they slowly get used to their new surroundings. Remember, animals relate to familiar smells and objects first. During the move itself, the best way to reduce the stress on the animal is to put it in the quietest place possible and definitely away from all the action. This could mean emptying a bedroom with the door shut or putting them in their kennel or carrier in the garage. Please take caution to make sure that they're in a temperature safe environment and that they have plenty of water and food if they're going to be there for any time. Moving day is really chaotic sometimes, but if you could keep the walks and the feeding times on somewhat of a regular schedule, that would really help a lot. Do your kids have guinea pigs or hamsters? They need special attention too during a move. Guinea pigs and hamsters are known to suffer from change and being jostled around. Their little hearts are very fragile too. So make sure they're transported in a comfortable, warm, small carrier. So when you get to the new house, just set them down for a couple of hours before putting them back into their larger, more permanent homes. And let's not forget about our feather companions. More than one feathered friend has been known to fly the coop on moving day. Many bird owners proudly announce that their bird has never flown off their shoulder. Sadly, a lot of them have regretted saying that on moving day. Birds, like most pets, are very jittery about change. So even the smartest parrot balks at being put in a cage on moving day. Please, just do it. Put them in a cage. By planning ahead and setting up everything in advance, you'll be able to prepare your fur baby and turn what could be an anxiety-inducing experience into a pleasant, fun adventure. Once everyone's moved in and the strangers are gone, snuggle up with your pet, give them lots of love and attention, enjoy your house together. For more details of how to have a stress-free move with your pet, I've included a link below with 25 more tips. Enjoy! I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. I hope you found this video helpful when moving to a new house with a pet. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I would love to hear about your experiences when you move to your new home with your furry companions. Oh, and if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. I'm here every single Monday with a new video to help you make smart decisions when buying and selling a house, and you won't want to miss a thing. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.